I'm cooking my delicious spiced lamb cutlets with caponata and caponata is this beautiful Italian dish that's slow cooked with aubergines and tomatoes and garlic and shallots and olives and raisins and capers. It's so beautiful and quite easy to make as well. The first thing you want to do is chop up your aubergines and get them on cooking. So I'm dicing up the aubergines. You don't need to salt it for this one. So once you have your aubergines prepped, get a nice big casserole dish like this over a medium heat. Add in some oil, canola oil is perfect, and then quite a good bit, about three tablespoons. And then pop in all of the aubergines. Give them a good stir around, and then cover your saucepan. Turn the heat down a little bit. While the aubergines are cooking, I'm going to prep everything else, like the tomatoes and the shallots and the celery and the garlic. So I'm chopping everything up pretty much the same size. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but around about. So the tomatoes are being diced up like this. I'm going to do the same with the shallots and the same with the celery. So my aubergines are cooking nicely. I'm going to add in one more tablespoon of oil and then I'm going to add in my shallots and then give the shallots a good stir so they're mixed in with the aubergines, cover and let them cook for a further five minutes then I'm going to add in the tomatoes and then next I'm going to be adding in my tomato puree, the capers, the olives, a little bit of white wine vinegar, raisins and celery and then I let it simmer away for about 20 minutes. The smells are so gorgeous and so put the lid on Make sure it's on a low heat and just let that simmer away for about 20 minutes, but come back and check it every couple of minutes. So while the caponata is cooking, I'm going to get the marinade ready for my lamb chops and get them on cooking. So I've got some beautiful Kerrygold butter that I'm going to melt and I'm going to chop up some beautiful fennel seeds. I love fennel seeds and lamb. They have this gorgeous kind of licorice -y, and a seedy flavour that I just adore. So you just want to roughly chop them up. And then we're going to put in some crushed garlic, the melted butter and the lemon juice. So crush down the garlic. And next some lemon. And before you juice your lemons, always roll them out. It makes it so much easier to roll and you get so much more lemon juice from it. Cusp your hand. And then lastly, the beautiful melted curry gold butter. And that is my lovely marinade for the lamb cutlets. So I'm pouring this beautiful curry gold butter with lemon and fennel and garlic. And so I'm seasoning them with beautiful sea salt and black pepper. And then straight on to a really hot griddle pan. So it seals in all the juiciness. Oh, these are so good. <laughs> After a few minutes, I'm just turning them over. The great thing about cooking it on a griddle pan like this is you get this great texture like that. Woo! These are gorgeous. <laughs> My caponata has been cooking for 20 minutes. And all I'm going to do is just finish it off with some beautiful fresh basil. Everything is kind of broken down and become this gorgeous kind of slow cooked warm salsa. And just look how gorgeous this is. The aubergine and the capers and the olives and the celery and the tomatoes and the basil. It's just beautiful. And the beautiful spiced lamb cutlets with fennel and garlic and lemon. My delicious spiced lamb cutlets with caponata, one of my favorite, favorite dishes. And um, the full recipe is below. Make sure you check out all the other playlists as well for lots of different supper inspo. See you soon. I hope you go cook it and let me know if you do.